everybody i'm going to be making chicken and rice in a burmese style that i've completely concocted on my own i have always loved burmese cuisine because we have some kind of connection to burma i do use this book as a guide to cooking sometimes i bought this in islamabad in 1996 so it's a very dear book to me and as you can see i have read it quite a few times I took about 500 grams of boneless cubed pressed chicken pieces and I wanted to marinate it in something other than yogurt. So what I did was I added about 3 tablespoons each of soya sauce and oyster sauce. There's half a teaspoon up to 1 teaspoon of vinegar. There's uh, some uh, red chili powder, a sprinkle of salt and pepper and 1 teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste and I've mixed it and set it aside. And today I'm using two and a half cups of brown rice that I've soaked in water and I've already put up the water to boil. So while the chicken marinates, the rice is going to cook. You have to keep it a little al dente, uh, as in a kani. Don't overcook the rice, just leave it al dente. So while the rice boils, I'm going to start preparing the chicken. For that, I've taken about one diced chicken and I'm going to add some oil to this and fry it. Once the onions are translucent, you have to add one tablespoon mixed ginger and garlic paste or you can even mix chopped. At this point, I've added about three chopped up bird's eye chilies and a little bit of lemongrass. That should be about uh, two tablespoons of lemongrass. The lemongrass and bird's eye chilies smelling so fragrant right now. I'm going to be adding the chicken along with its juices. I'm going to saute this. Sorted both sides and now I'm going to add a chicken cube. And I'm going to lower the fire and cover the chicken and let it leave off some liquid. I've uncovered this and the chicken seems to be nice and ready. Uh, what I've done is I've added one tablespoon of soybean paste. Um, if you have it added, if you don't, never mind, you can skip this step. Or you can add one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. Now remember, this is something I'm making from scratch. It's a fusion food. It's my take on a Burmese chicken with rice. Place the fire, add one teaspoon of sugar, a little bit of fish sauce, I'm going to add one teaspoon, mix that well, a teaspoon of vinegar or lemon juice, I'm going to be adding the vegetables now, I had cut up a head of cauliflower into small pieces and since cauliflower takes the longest to cook, I'm going to be adding that into the mix first. The cauliflower seems to be done and I'm going to be adding uh, two cups of Chinese cabbage so you can add regular cabbage and these are about four green chilies chopped. Alongside that I'm going to be adding a cup full of capsicum. Give it a little bit of gravy. I have one cup coconut powder mixed with half cup water. And right at the end I've added two cubed tomatoes and a few basil leaves. At this point you need to check for seasoning, salt, red chili powder, lemon, sugar, you can increase that um, at this point. I was initially making this dish with brown rice but then I opened the fridge and I found stale rice and remember I've told you many times for a fried rice you are better off using stale rice. So that's two cups of uh, white rice that I'm going to be using. Since this rice has come out of the fridge I'm quickly heating it in a wok. Once that's uh, heated through and it's the same temperature as the chicken, I'm going to be mixing it. Rice is heated through, I'm adding a little bit of seasoning to the rice. Just a little bit. I think about two tablespoons. And some sliced spring onions. I love spring onions. I'm adding a little at a time because I don't want to put too much chicken in the rice. When I started off making this, I used brown rice and I used two and a half cups, but this is less than that. It is ready and I've garnished it with spring onion, some basil and some lemon. You can squeeze a lemon before you have this amazing Burmese rice. 
that uh, honestly speaking i have completely concocted so if you're burmese and watching this and you're wondering where i came up with this recipe uh nat makes these strange recipes and serves them to her unassuming kids and husband and they seem to like it so i really want you guys to try this